Hey guys, Justin here, welcome to another video. So the Boss AI Toolkit has just been updated. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of the uh, important features that have been added in this update. So one of the major features is um, new ability templates. Most of them are for um, bullet hell type bosses. So as you can see here, we have Project out of circle, uh, grid, and wave ring. So I'm gonna go over those. I'm gonna use several right here. So the first one is the grid projectile. You can basically create um, or spawn several projectiles that are, that are formed in a grid. So right here we have a modifier of four one fifty. Four means there are four bullets in, I mean, there are four columns, one row, and a spacing of 50 between e each um, projectile. So if we look at that, it's going to be like this, as you can see. By the way, I modified the projectile base for the, for the purposes of this demo. I slowed down the projectile and it made them into a sphere. Now, if I modify this, let's say five by three with a spacing of a hundred, it will look different like this. As you can see, those are, it's in a grid projectile. And you can also do things like Let's say it's just one column and six bullets, spacing of 50. So you can summon like just a pillar. There's a pillar of projectiles, right? Like so. The next one is the circle projectile. Um, and in the modifier, 90 is the number of projectiles to be spawned and one is you're gonna see this one in effect later um let's set debug ability index oh wait i should set it here debug ability index to one And the sphere, I mean, this circle projectile ability looks like that. But if we modify the Y value of modifier, um, let's say set it to three, it's gonna do like a spiral spawn instead Oh uh, no. We also need to modify the animation. So if I modify this and lengthen it, it should be more visible. I guess it's gonna, there you go. As you can see, it went into like a spiral shape. If you set this back to one, it's going to look uh, it's going to spawn slowly, but still in a circle, like so. But if we set it to like four, it's gonna go around four times. And actually, let's me. Um, like that. So that's a cool feature. And another one is if we actually set this to something like 0 0.5, it's only going to summon stuff um, on one side, like so. And same thing if you set it into a negative number, negative 0 0.5, and then you can also set it to like negative four and stuff like that. So you're free to experiment with this and take note that modifying the length of the noti notified damage would also affect um, the spawn of the circle. 
right? So the next one is the wave ring ability. The modifier in here, the first one is the initial size of the ring. And the next one is the final size of the ring. And the Z value is how fast this the, the ring um, scales. So if I set the debug to two, should use the ring like that. And it damages us. We can jump over it, obviously. Avoid the damage. And yeah. Some of the other features are, for example, we, we now have optional combos. So if you go into the combo, you can see an optional Boolean right here. So if this is enabled, this combo will now take a look at the targeting. And if the targeting is not fulfilled, uh, it will skip this one or it, and it will look for another um, option, look for another combo. If there are no combos present, for example, this one is also op optional, then the ability is essentially canceled or shortened. <laughs> we also have a few more new abilities that were presented in the Melania tutorial. For example, ability charge circular is the dodge slash. It also ha uses modifiers and dive as well. So if you want to take a look at the patch notes to get a sense of all the changes, feel free to do so. We also change how dive and leap abilities work. Basically modifier Z now controls uh, if I go here, search leap. Um, here, modifier Z now controls the height of the leap and also the dive if it's a dive ability. So yeah, those are the changes and some smaller changes as well, like uh, being able to maintain distance we now have our desired range. So if this is greater than zero, the AI will maintain this range um, from the target. So yeah, I hope you find this update useful. Um, thanks for watching. Cheers.